No, okay, so there's, there's something I just wanted to show you in SketchUp that I thought you might find useful. So I'm just going to open up a new session of SketchUp quickly here. And I know you have a different template to me, so I'm just going to show you which template I've been using. So you can, uh, if it's any different and you want to use this template, you can check it out as well. So the default I've actually set as Architectural Design Millimeters. So if you start up a new session and you want to use this template, just come here and select Choose Template and then go and choose that template. So you don't have to always stick to your default if, you, if you're worried about having selected it when you originally set up SketchUp. You just can kind of come in and, and select a new one when you start a new session. Okay, so I'm going to select this Architectural Design in Millimeters. Start using SketchUp. And it should open pretty quickly. Okay, so this guy can travel. And what I wanted to show you is, is the, something called the Follow Me tool. So I don't know if you've had a chance to have a look at it yet, but I think it might be quite useful. And I want to use it to design a balustrade on a staircase, which is something I think you, you might be doing quite a bit of. So first thing I want to do is just, just create a staircase that, uh, that I can use on this design. So I'm going to use, uh, where is it, some standard risers here. I'm just going to say a, a riser of 150 and then the, the depth of the step, I think I'm just going to make 250. So I think that should work for this example. So let's, let's create that staircase now quickly. Okay, the riser was 150, so I'm just going to make it one and a half meters. And the depth of those stairs was 250, so I'll make it two and a half meters. And then I'm just going to go and put in those gaps here. So I'm going to make them 250. Okay, there we go. So there's the stairs. And then, like I said, so now I want to create the balustrade for the staircase. So first thing I want to do is just get rid of all these guides. I don't need them anymore. I can just add guides later if I need those. And the balustrade is going to be on this front edge here. And I'm going to place the, the down pole for the balustrade in the center of the stairs. Every second stair. Up here, I think I'll make a 125, which is a well, not that way. And then 100 in from the back. Okay, so that's where they're going to be placed. And then from the edge, I'll just bring them in by 50. Right, there we go. That's the guides for each of those balustrades. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to create a little line um, layer that the, the actual balustrade is going to follow. And I'm going to push off the guides that I've used. And the, the balustrade height is going to be one meter. So I'm going to start by creating a new line on the intersection of the first one. I'm going to push it up on the blue axis by 1000 mils. And I'll do that for each of these ones. delete those guides again and then just join the top of the balustrade. Okay, so it's just like a wire 
frame for the balustrade at this point. And we use the follow me tool to actually create the bars and tubing around this wire frame. Okay, now before I go further, I want to put these different um, files or layers on a different layer. So I'm going to just create a new layer and call it stairs. And then another one I will call uh, frame for wireframe. Okay, and then I just want to select and create a group of the stairs. So select. Uh, okay, that's not going to work because it's going to select some of the wireframes. So I just want to and down just a little, I only want the wire. Okay, let's see if that works. I don't think it's working. Okay, so I'm going to just try that angle there to select everything that isn't part of the wireframe. Okay, I'm going to make a group and then just stick it on stairs. There we go. And I can turn my stairs off. And I should, if I got that right, just have the wireframe left. Yep. Okay, that wireframe, I'm going to stick it on a group for now. I might explode it later. And then just put that on the frame. Okay, so now we've got both layers that I'm going to use for the follow me and the creation of that balustrade. <coughs> Okay, so I don't want to have to do that all again. If I want two examples of the same thing and two different designs, what I want to do is just copy all of this. Is it going to let me copy it? Um, copy and then paste it. Okay, I'm just going to move it down here somewhere. Okay, so now this is, I'm doing this just in case I make a mistake or want a different version of the same thing. So. Let's just move that so that it's on the, the front red plane there. Okay, so there's my second one. So if I want to come back and do some new designs, I can do it on there without having to recreate this whole uh, staircase and wireframe. Right, so why are we doing this? So I wanted to do this to, to show you the follow me, follow me tool. And we're going to do that to create the, the, the balustrade or the, the bars for, for the staircase handle. So let's create a new layer. I'm going to call it, how do you spell balustrade? Bell U trade balustrade. Crumbs, I don't even know if that's right. I'm going to have to check. Okay, so I stuck too many L's on there. But that is because I'm a bad speller. All right. Um, okay, so we want to create this balustrade now. So uh, with our default layer still the layer zero. I'm going to create a little pole here. So I'm going to use my circle tool and I'm going to let it snap onto the middle of that wireframe, the bottom of that wireframe. I'm going to click it and then I want it to be a 25 mil radius. So it's a 50 mil balustrade. And I will do the same for the bases here. And the last top one. And I'm not going to use this, not going to do this one because that's going to be part of the final follow me uh, option that we choose. Okay, so now I just want to extend these up the, the wireframe. So I will use the follow me tool. So if I select follow me and then click on that wireframe, I'll click on that. Oh, yeah, this is where I needed to explode that wireframe again. So Let's just select the wireframe, right click and say explode. Now it should allow me. So it wouldn't allow me to follow it as one group. I need it to be individual parts so that it could follow the, the various sections or segments of this, this layer. So let's try that follow me option again. Okay, there we go. So you see what happens. I, I select the object I want to follow. Then I, I scroll over and roll my, my, my selector onto the actual object I wanted to follow and it becomes highlighted red. And then when I get to the, the portion where I want it to stop, I just click and then we've got this, these new poles. Okay, so I mean that, that looks like it's going to be working. And then for this one, we're going to drag it 
over to an, another another segment. So we're going to cross a couple segments. Okay, so I'm just oh okay. So when I when I when I left the view completely, it just dropped it. So I just want to make sure I don't. shouldn't be zooming out too far okay so, so so it can be a bit of a fiddle but but you can see how this tool works when you get to the bottom click finish now what we can do is we can turn off the frame and the stairs zoom to our extent is it this one zoom to the extent is that one okay so it's zooming to both extents so let's just pan over and zoom into our new balustrade Select the whole thing, make a group, and then stick it on balustrade. There we go. And maybe change the color uh, to a ready color. Okay. The default layer, I'm just going to, for this example, just change this to like a light color. Okay, there we go. And turn these back on. And there you go, you've got your balustrade. And if you just want to see which layers are which, color by layer, there's your uh, balustrade down your staircase. And that is how you do that. So one thing maybe I just wanted to show you, because you see what it's doing is it's following this, uh, these two segments to the T. So, so that's imagining that you're cutting that bar and then welding it to this bar. But if you actually wanted to put this in a bender and bend it, then you would need to create like a like a bend or a chamfer on that portion of the of the frame, and we can do that by by just bending this line using this little tool here, which is the arc. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do that. So if we imagine we're going to bend uh, from a hundred mils to a hundred mils, and I, I don't know what these measurements would be, but let's just use a hundred mils as an example. We're going to we're going to put in a new arc from 100 mils. Starting from 100 mils, we're going to start bending it and ending 100 mils up the balustrade bar. So I just want to make my balustrade layer the the uh, the active or the selected layer that I'm working on, the active layer. And then I think I pointed to this arc earlier, but I'm actually going to be using this this two-point arc to create this bend, a, a new bend segment here. But like I said, I want to bend it from 100 mils. So let's just go to the where the two um, poles join or segments join. I'm just gonna so I'm gonna use this little uh, measure tool and I'm just gonna click and then create a new guide down the the frame by 100 mils that way. Okay, so now there's a, a little guide there and 100 mils this way. There we go. So now we got those two guides to help us create this new this new bend. And then, like I said, I'm going to be using this one here, two-point arc. So we just come down to the bottom one, we click on it, click on the top one, and then this is where you just need to be careful because sometimes you'll see as you're drawing the arc, uh, it pops into a different plane. But we don't want it on the uh, on the green plane because then it's going to be a bit funny. So we just need to make sure that it stays inside. And I think that's right. You can see. If I click off and just zoom in slightly just to make sure that it is on that correct plane. Yes, it is. Okay, so now we've got a new we've got a new arc in there. Let me just zoom out a bit. And sometimes the, the SketchUp does it does does uh, jump around a bit so so learning the the scroll the scroll mouse uh, option to zoom can be a bit tricky okay so we so now we want to just use the follow me tool to go on this bend and not the the other two so we can remove those just going to select those and delete them so I'm selecting this little line segment and that little line segment and deleting it and I can remove the guide delete the guide and then what I also think I'll do is is uh, turn off color by layer. Just pan out again. And then for the follow me tool, I'm going to do that same option where I want to draw a circle. Where is it here? It's this one here, and it's 50 mils. No, it's 25, 25 radius. 
Okay, so using that follow me tool, I should now be able to follow up and around that portion of the frame. Okay, so that's an example of how you might uh, want to create or, or, or use the follow me tool to, to follow around a bend instead of uh, two segments that have been welded together. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So you know, it's it should be quite useful. I I, um, I, I think uh, that might be useful going forward. Um, one other thing, for instance, when you when you're coloring it up, you can see each of these little segments being shown up. You should be able to turn off um, in the view options. Is it the view options and O oh, face edge style? I think you turn off edges and it disappears. Okay, so under view edge style edges turns on and you can see the lines of each of those line segments and if you edge style turn it off okay but you see it turns off everything so the the front step edge is also dis has also disappeared so it uh, it should work I and mean, that should should help with some of your designs so yeah good luck with that give me a shout if there's anything else um i quite enjoy doing this kind of thing so i'm more than happy to help if if you go if you need any any other advice or help just